you know, my mom always told me to finish my food because they were starving children in Africa, but I always had the sneaking suspicion that my not finishing my spinach wasn't the cause of the problem. Turns out I was right. I'm looking at you tonight. Yeah, you. Nitrogen is the most abundant substance in the atmosphere, and what is a leading cause of crop failure? Nitrogen deficiency? How does that make any sense? Well, as it turns out, nitrogen in the atmosphere is pretty much useless as it is. Imagine that you're sailing in a boat on the Pacific Ocean for months on end. You could be dying of thirst while floating on the Earth's largest body of water. So, just like you can't drink water from the Pacific Ocean, plants can't use nitrogen from the atmosphere. Way to make things easy for us, Mother Nature. So, if plants can't use nitrogen straight from the atmosphere, how do they get it? Good old bacteria. Atmospheric nitrogen is made up of two nitrogen atoms bonded together by an extremely strong triple bond. And plants just have no idea how to handle this. Bacteria, on the other hand, have totally got it. They take the atmospheric nitrogen, put in a ton of energy, and spit out nitrogen in a plant-friendly form, such as ammonia. Now, agricultural land has many a plant on it, as you may have known. And every protein and strand of DNA in every cell of that plant requires nitrogen. This leaves the bacteria in the soil with a pretty big job ahead of them, and sometimes they just can't keep up. They're only human after all. Okay, well maybe not human, but they just can't do it, okay? So when all the plants have sucked the fields dry of nitrogen, this leaves the soil nitrogen depleted, and very few plants can grow. This has been a huge problem in the developing world, actually. Many organizations have been working on getting nitrogen-enriched fertilizers to these countries, but this fertilizer is very expensive and those countries are very remote. It makes distribution very difficult. In the developed world, we actually have the exact opposite problem. We use so much nitrogen-enriched fertilizers that runoff from our fields actually pollutes local water supplies with nitrates and nitrites. Oh, and that dead zone that's growing in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico? Yeah, I don't want to point any fingers, but agricultural runoff. The agricultural revolution occurred about 10,000 years ago. And we've put a person on the moon in the meantime, but we still haven't gotten feeding people down to a science. In fact, at the rate that the population is growing and the rate that agriculture is expanding, we're not going to have enough food to feed people in about a century. And right now, while we actually do have enough food, 842 million people go hungry every day. And poor nutrition is the leading cause of death in children under five. The fact is that we've got to step up our game. Next time we'll look at some options that we have. Until then!